Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today we're going to be going through episode 3 of Life is Strange. For those who don't know, this is my very first time ever playing through Life is Strange. I know virtually nothing about this game, so everything here are my first reactions. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. It's been getting really good. It is so beautiful too. You can tell throughout each episode the production value definitely raised because each new episode it looks prettier and prettier. We did save Kate last episode, so... Max cares about her so much and it's so sweet to see. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. And we're right into it! Sweet! Let's look at what she was looking at. Glad on the, the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Gosh. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. <laughs> Black Hole student attempts a word I can't say on YouTube on campus. A student at the prestigious Black Hole Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today, with most of the students and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I'm actually surprised. Let's see. Winston Smith went missing in 1984. Lee Grayson in 1997. Elton Kesey in 2001. And then Rachel Amber in 2013. Also, Sunshine Ray, real name unknown, which is a little strange, went missing in 1973. Okay. So it's like, once every 10 years, someone goes missing. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Yeah, but, I mean, these people, I don't know. It seems like they're just going to be posting it here for their own attention. I wonder who's in the picture with her. Probably her, her dad? I know she said that she and her dad had a fallout, but he still loves her. Taylor says, get well soon. You are in our heart. Victoria says, sending love to you, Kate. Evan says, thinking of you. Mark says, we love you, Katie. Come back to church soon. Alyssa says, we're all behind you, Kate. Courtney says, I hope you feel better. Father Lamont posted Psalm 3418. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. And Zach says, Blackwell Bigfoot's promised to win in the next game for you. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Ugh. Time is bunk. Douglas Adams. <laughs> Warren says, Max Power. Let's go, Warren. He's, he's one of my favorites in this game so far. I absolutely adore him. Brooke says, watching you walk down with Kate from the roof is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Dana says, you're a hero, Max. Thank you. Evan says, you actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. Bravo, Max. Bravo. Daniel says, Arizu <laughs> I, I don't know Spanish, so I don't know what that says. <laughs> Hayden says, epic. And Juliet says, way to make the headlines, Max. And then someone I'm assuming we don't know yet because they're blocked out, said something too. Okay. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Let's open the door. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. She's not even smiling in the picture. What do you mean, happy? She looks miserable. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. For real? Oh my gosh. I am the happiest whenever no. I have music playing. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? For real. Nathan was weird with this one. If it truly is Nathan, because we didn't confirm that. 
But, I mean, this picture is pretty dope, I'll be honest, but for the bullying aspect, it is pretty shitty, and I'm surprised that Max still has it, and she hasn't turned it in yet. Oh, we can't water the plant today. Oh, but we took Kate's Are you rabbit. Hungry, bunny? Here, nosh on this. Oh, so cute. Such a cute little baby. Okay, let's turn on the lamp because I can't see anything over here. It was partiers? Okay, we can't play the guitar this time. I'm surprised that we haven't removed this no as well. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. At least take your pictures down. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. What are Take we investigating? Breath. Get your shit exactly. together. Your, you your, have time. Your time stuff? Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Monday, world history at 10 in the morning. Oh my gosh, I... So happy I'm not in school anymore. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. Oh. Oh, I feel like I'm in a horror game. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. That's pretty creepy, I'll be honest. Like, Victoria basically has, like, a cult. Okay. So much hypocrite. Barricade? Why'd they barricade her room? Do they really need that crap on the door? Exactly! Kate's still alive. Yeah, that's so scary! Oh, uh, this chick's- Dana? Her room's open. Hi, Dana! Are you okay? What's wrong? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Well, y'all bullied her, so... <laughs> We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Yeah, everyone stayed down below with a fucking phone and recorded her, hoping that she would jump so that they would have social media content, so... <sighs> so why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on. You really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? For so real? what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? You Victoria for one? bounced out of here <laughs> earlier, and now you, Sherla? <laughs> Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, can I rewind? I've unlocked a new dialogue option. Let's go. Let's see. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible I, for I what happened. I think that's like the best True. option to choose. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? 
You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Oh. Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I think I, I missed the dialogue option. Uh oh. Get some sleep too, Dana. We'll see you later. Okay. It said that there was a new dialogue option. I want to see what that option was, but I think I need to stray from. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious, but it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, hmm. and now maybe you, Sherla. Maybe Not I need me. to blame Victoria. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Okay, maybe I need to blame Victoria for it. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. <laughs> I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. Revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do what with Nathan being expelled? What is going on here? I guess we don't have it's another dialogue option. I thought that we did. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Okay. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I guess there, there was nothing else for me to do with that. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Hmm. Okay. I do really feel bad for Kate. Everything that's happened to her so far has been horrible. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What? Is he so drunk that he thinks that he's back at school? I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Now, why won't Max the Ninja that? strikes again? It's kind of funny. <laughs> Booyah! Oh shit! <laughs> Get Chloe, it? what the hell? Booyah! <laughs> scary punk ghost more like a scary punk asshole hey Chloe I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof I don't think I need you to prank me tonight okay sorry but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend Kate saved herself I couldn't even use my power my head felt like it was being crushed and then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof don't be so modest rockstar 
Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? The name of I the episode. I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. True. It scares me to think where she could be. Yeah. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Oh. Thank you, step prick. <laughs> okay. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? Oh. We're in it to win it, Max. Was the one in there? I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Oh, <laughs> okay, Max. <laughs> Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know oh. this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. You. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? Ugh. It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Uh. Shepherdson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already oh love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. <laughs> you might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. What the as heck? a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! Uh, I really I don't like her. Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. I would like to apologize once again. We have Dude, construction outside. I don't know about this. <laughs> We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. You thought it was if a good I idea a key, like five seconds breaking? ago. They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. 
Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Kind of creepy and ominous at night. Let's see, is there anything at the reception desk? Oh, there is something. Let me look at it. What? Let me look at it. There we go. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Oh. <laughs> Are you insinuating that Samuel is gay? Why would you do that? Got their own personal bathrooms. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking. Thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Alrighty, back to more snooping. Nothing here. Dead end. I don't know why I keep looking. I honestly don't think that there's gonna be a key in the filing cabinet. Boring. But just in case... Crap. Oh, I didn't think so. Okay. Hunting hat. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Okay, Max. Oh, well, maybe I should try the key rack. Here are the keys. <laughs> None for the principal's office. No key for oh, thee. Damn. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Oh, is it Warren? Hey, Warren. Yeah. You busy? <laughs> Just bubble hearth. You'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. <laughs> Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go okay. put it together. Can Let's you stay go. here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. <laughs> the race is on. See you soon. Okay. Let's go. Uh... Okay. So we need sugar, a soda can, duct tape, and sodium chloride. Okay, so the first thing is to get the duct tape, the soda can, the sugar, and the sodium chloride. Duct tape it all. Set it on fire? Or is that the sodium chlorate? Thank you for your not so helpful instructions. Warren. Warren is such a <laughs> classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I'll be honest, I do not know where the science class is. Maybe there's a soda can in here. Gross. Do I have to buy a soda can? Nope. Doesn't anybody drink sodas here? I drink sodas. I do like my pop. Release the crack can. Okay. <laughs> Max oh is so adorable. Name. Okay. Only three more items to go.
Let's see. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Can I not turn on the light? Exam file? Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. <laughs> of course, I'm barely passing science. Oh, I could change this grade? Or change my grade? No, I'm not gonna do that. Ooh, sugar. Sugar! You're halfway home, Max. You still there? Did you blow up? <laughs> Max? <laughs> still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now, talk to you later. Uh, it's so funny. Graffiti? What's this say? I never said they were great, troll. Uh, a science book? Where's the sodium chlorate? Chemistry stuff. Okay. Let's You're see. an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Well, sorry, damn. Where, where's, where would it be other than here? So sodium chlorate is. A weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Hmm. Maybe it would be in the janitor's closet then. No, this mixture doth not work. Doth not work. Okay. Well, let's see if I can find like a janitor's closet or a maintenance closet then. I can't freaking see anything. Kate's locker. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. This is the our classroom, right? This is like a scene in a horror film. Yeah. It's the lighthouse. You can never escape the lighthouse here. These are the the first episode, right? Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Hmm. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. <laughs> Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Hmm. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. He's so morbid. My gosh. A cigarette pack? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Duct tape! The tape is mine. I did not think that that would have been in here. Only one more ingredient left. <laughs> That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. My dog is huffing and puffing because he hears people outside. Uh, okay, no janitor's closet over here. Oh, there goes my dog. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. The end of it? But am I just like... blind? Well, I am pretty freaking blind. I can't see anything in here. There's no janitor's closet? 
Do I have to like leave and go back to the dorms? I probably Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, <laughs> give it up. Okay, so it is in here then. Biology. Oh, gross. Well, you gotta learn it. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. You're really that behind in your class? Got the graffiti there. It wasn't over here. She said it wasn't there. Aquarium. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Max, if you can't find oh sodium my gosh. chloride in the science lab, here's the sodium chloride box. <gasps> That makes me so upset because, like, the uh, last episode, too, we were trying to find tools, or was that the first episode, for her camera? It was also up at the top, and it made me so angry no, because I could not find it. I was wandering around that house forever. Power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. The bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Uh, we'll go in there, grab whatever you need to grab, and then get the fuck out and rewind. Let's unlock it from the inside. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Uh, <laughs> this bullshit! Fuck you, door! Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. <laughs> How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. <laughs> this is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Okay. Let's see... What's Warren got to say? 
So, did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives. And to see your incredible artwork. <laughs> okay. Let's turn on the lamp. Kate's file. What is this doing out? This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Update. At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Brief summary. Kate Marsh represents the very best in the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding, along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged on KBAY 7 News, and her diverse religious study groups have been welcome addition to the wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Principal Wells, as a school nurse, I should inform you that Kate Marsh appears to have experienced some recent emotional and physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress with other classmates, as is my suspicion. So they knew about her being bullied, and they did nothing about it. That's nice. Only two more files to go. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. <laughs> what is that? Is that alcohol? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Hmm. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay. Update. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary, Rachel Amber is a quint quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her study and extracurricular activities, which are numerous, popular with both students and faculty. She has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There's no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams and Blackwell as the fulcrum. Prince of Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. Rossi, just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for one that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thanks for your help. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. A 1.7. Damn. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Yeah, Weird. but... This asshole has a spotless record. Eh, uh, no, not spotless, just paid off. <laughs> Nathan Prescott continues his family historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. <laughs> Max has a 2.8? I honestly thought that she would have higher. Brief summary, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much pot potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates, and she has acknowledged that she should be doing better. Her teachers, her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Oh, so others would like her to be less so is a common student suggestion, so Victoria is complaining about Max. Okay. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max shows herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. With a student transfer card. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. <laughs> GPA of a 3.9. Victoria Chase is a gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. <laughs> a 4.0? Uh, I kind of, I kind of assumed that, to be honest. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift of, or curse, of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science breaks that is not confirmed by a science teacher, Ms. Grant. Can we hope Warren focuses his active vision and continues towards his bright future? I feel like he will. I think we found everything in here. I oh. should go join Chloe now. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. Not a shocker. <laughs> Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspicion, suspension, I feel that my large contributions to the Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation could be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tra tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not condu conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Let's look at this letter. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. 
Dear Ms. Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures from school to reject the plan. It is now my policy to take to take souls in these matters, as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in our school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and share your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Best, Principal Wells. I kind of wish that I didn't sign it. I feel like the school definitely needs security cameras, especially since students are going missing. I wish that I didn't sign that. And now that I know what I know about the security guard and how he's truly just trying to help the students, he just cares a little bit too much. I, I wish that I didn't. You're not so tacky up close. Okay, let's talk to Chloe. Oh. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus. And my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. No, Nathan he's not Prescott teaming up. The third. Remember, he you said that so he turned money. in the And you know the Prescott's video. dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. What over and over. What does that That's mean? That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. <laughs> we got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? <laughs> or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy, Holy shit! Crap. Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. No, Chloe, don't. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or yeah. just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? No. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Uh, leave the money, Chloe, that's so you bad. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. I feel bad, but uh, we shouldn't. Disciplinary, war disciplinary warning report. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month, despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day, without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see attached files for the full report. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in the administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic, erratic behavior patterns. <laughs> We're certain this must be a mistake, otherwise we fear that we would need, we'll take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better-funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the explained disciplinary warning report. Nathan Blackwell incident report. Nathan. Oh. <laughs> Blackwell incident report. Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Throwing a desk in class. Oh shit. Cursing at his English teacher. Lighting firecrackers in the bathroom. Stealing school supplies. Threatening the school's custodian. He threatened Samuel. And attempting theft of campus. To paint the statue. <laughs> the totem pole. Rachel in the dark room, Rachel in the dark room. It's so crazy. All the eyes, too. 
David Madsen and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been doing a drug mole in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology. He acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David, 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 oh my gosh, that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised to have more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She was, she was quite upset and claims that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel has been keeping, I'm not certain I could believe her right now. That's weird because we also saw David taking pictures of Kate. Hmm. 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 That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? Go swim! It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? Splish You're splash, right. and we're taking we hella a bath. deserve it. Splish splash. <laughs> Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Evil plan? Boys or girls? Oh, jeez. Uh... Girls, girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Victoria's locker. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. <laughs> Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Why keep them in the school locker, though? Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. The most cozy, comfy towels are the ones that you can find in hotels. For real. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. <laughs> Those are some musty ass old shirts. Yuck. <laughs> Where does that other sock go? Brooke's sock. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive in with Warren. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Uh. I hope so, friend. What? Well, we care, dickhead. See, stuff, stuff like this is why she tried to jump. And I wish that high schoolers, well, children, just weren't so mean. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. It's so dark. I hate that I could only see, like, two feet in front of me. Ooh, I'm running. There's the exit. Okay. I'm just looking to see if there's anything here. Things like this. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, we can remove names? Let's do it. 
Let's oh, remove some names. I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. <laughs> it's so funny. It's mean, but it's funny. <laughs> Is there anything else we can fuck with? Have some diving boards. Oh, rescue board. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Yeah, you would definitely hope. Oxygen kit. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Yes, we get it. Otters. What do you expect, Max? You're here in the in the pool. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. So the big plan is win <laughs> Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Can I push her? You dived in the shallow end. Why didn't you Time go to, to the deep end? Time to do or dive, Max. Am I just gonna go in with my phone and everything? Do I have to go in here and like change? Even here. Sorry, Rachel. Oh, I have to talk to her. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowbunga! Cannonball. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> you are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> This is such a cute moment. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying, as long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? <laughs> And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. 
It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan, but I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Aww. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. <laughs> I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your you hair did. soaked in chemicals. <laughs> Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. Make sure you cover the whole room. Are you shitting me? What? Like when we were kids. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Laundry basket. Hello? Oh god. Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Am I supposed to do anything? Ooh. Sounds like he just left. We are so invisible. Let's You're bail. not in the clear yet. Yeah. You guys still need to leave. <laughs> Bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into <laughs> the car! Get in! He's gonna recognize it's your truck. <laughs> <laughs> They're such cute moments. I like that her roots are purple, but like they're kind of fading out a bit. 
It's a cute little detail that they added. Take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. <laughs> It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. <laughs> like it needs mark? another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, <laughs> Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is free, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights on. I'm so wiped out from last night. But it was awesome. I have to ponder what kind of criminal I've become. Last night was only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I have to admit, it was pretty cool to take over the Blackwell gym. Today the gym, tomorrow the world. We need to step it up. We still have to be careful how I use my power. I don't want to get stuck in time. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Oh, I wanted to see Max in some punk clothes. What's he said? Glad to see you didn't blow out Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. <laughs> I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. <laughs> oh, at least we haven't been identified yet. Okay, let's see. Incident. Police and fire departments responded to a break-in and vandalism on the Blackwell Academy campus around 1.30 a.m. Police have not stated if they have any suspects left. Incident. Police arrested a nude man with a sword at Up All Night Donuts off Peckinpah Road at approximately 8.52 p.m. The unidentified man was charged with being under the influence of energy drinks and methamphetamines. He is being held without bail pending further investigation. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Following a public suicide threat at Blackwell Academy, Kate Marsh is reportedly in a stable condition under supervision at Arcadia Bay Med Center. No more information is available at this time. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. That's cute. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. <laughs> wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. I broke this. I could have hid in the closet, and then David wouldn't be on my case. Uh, we tried. I don't Everything think I'll tumbled out today. 
Oh, I just looked in there. Oops. Okay, let's get dressed. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly, we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. <laughs> so, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. No. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I don't think I'll be moshing today. What? <laughs> okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. <laughs> but it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. <gasps> what? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Kiss her! Kiss Chloe! Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. You're the one that dared me. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. <laughs> a couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? That's hilarious. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Okay. It's like when we were kids here. Oh. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey, Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit as soon as I can. I promise. I will say, Max looks great in a flannel. Hi, Chloe's mom. Joyce? Yeah, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. <gasps> pancakes! I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. <laughs> I remember. 
we would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Mm. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. What, am I not gonna grab the milk? Oh, why is the milk just left here on the table? Now for the mother's milk. Oh man, I don't wanna be famous for this. Super heroine saves suicide Blackwell student. It's like all the way down in the corner. Who drinks beer this early around here? Maybe it's left from the night before. Here you go, Joyce. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was... is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Aww. Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Pancakes! I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> Eat. Gosh, I really could go for some pancakes right now. This sounds amazing. Now that's what I call pancakes. What am I supposed to do? Do I just sit here? Do I get up? Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. 
This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. Max shaved her head? And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Uh, it's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. <sighs> I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I know I need to get a password. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Let's see. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Not stepdad. Nothing to see here. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Oh, you could see the missing gun. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Maybe. I could try the license number for the password. Okay. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Obviously, David's parents care about him. Hmm. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. He really loves Joyce. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Hmm. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Okay, let's see. We got a lot of stuff. Magic 8-Ball says no. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Ah, uh, shoot. Yep, locked up. I can't enter any password. Shit. Uh, is there like a time limit? Oh, wait, I should probably, you know, rewind time since I can freaking do that. Okay, so it's not the date from the tape. School! Oh, nice. Max okay. the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Hmm. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. 
This is so wrong. What? Oh, creepy bastard. For real? Why has he got a picture of my school schedule? I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. And mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Um... Shit, because I know that David does it because he cares about the students. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard! But also, if I don't side with Chloe, then they're going to get mad at me. But we can rewind. Let's side with David. Let's Listen, see what she says. we don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Okay. I feel like I'm going to stick with that. Maybe yes. I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Like, there's nothing wrong with security and wanting to make sure that you guys are safe. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Shut Why can't the you fuck just up. rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Jesus. I see there is something about Chloe that I really do not like, and it's shit like that. Like she's not a very good friend. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. What is he eating? That looks gross. Looks Let's like just check a the plate door. of beans. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Nah. <laughs> Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. It's just like Don't bust a window and get in the way of yours. rewind. <laughs> I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. 
Oh, shit. He's right. I forgot he has a now dog. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Um. This window looks breakable for some reason. Hey, Dad! Maxine Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. We, we have no doubt sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. If you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Talk later. I love how Max puts Max in the XOXO. That's cute. Hey, it's the fisherman. Let's talk to him again. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Yes. Actually. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Okay. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <laughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I feel bad. I, I was eating those beans. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. I feel bad for that. Like, why? Why would I do that? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Um. Okay. What the fuck? You should have jumped, asswipe. Shit. To see in the sky what are the about. other signs then? Hmm. Sir? There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? Whoa! A oh my god, that scared the crap out of me! <laughs> <laughs> Makes me sick thinking about it. <laughs> what the heck was that? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. 
taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay. Let's see what he has to say about David. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Okay. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. Nathan? I know she mentioned it earlier. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. But a kid talk to him? Where do you talk to the cop? to do to get his keys Let's see if we could talk to him again you have serious balls little girl but hanging out with Chloe playing with guns and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough what the fuck do you want Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. <coughs> in other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Can I talk to you now? Okay. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look! Max Amber! Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Expelled? Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right suspended. over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Nah. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Is that the only now threat you've off, got Dyke. is you can sue people? Holy shit, what do you want now? Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. <laughs> Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Rose tweaking. Holy okay. shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you hmm. would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit, what do you want now? Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. 
if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. <laughs> How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Okay. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living, not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. What? Was that not supposed to work? Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't I wonder... have said that. Um... What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. By the way, Frank... I was wondering oh, why if you did I do had that? any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again ever and i'll back off uh. okay let's see if i could get anything out of this cop there she is super maxine i know we already That's talked to him nickname, earlier but way. now that we got info Sorry, from nathan you did earn it. we might have We're some more real info proud of you from the cop gate down. thanks officer barry i was just lucky and right on time Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. Is he the same Won't you stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. <laughs> Especially when the Why does that face get right in the way? That's bodyguard. so funny. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept Aww. one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Hmm. Okay. That was nice of Frank to get a new outfit and leave me alone. Oh. Damn, I really pissed him off. Well, I have the info that I need about the dog. So let's go back and try this. What the fuck now? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Couldn't I just take it and then... Oh, you know what? 
Okay, we'll you spill eat like plate. a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. I feel so bad for him because like that was his meal. And he said that he works hard so that his dog and him can... I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! At least we didn't have to spill his spill his meal. I always feel bad about he that. Brought. Now back to Chloe. Because like like I was saying earlier, he works hard so that he can be able to just afford a plate of beans. Just a plate of beans. He can't afford an actual meal inside of the diner. He can just afford a plate of beans. Aww, what birdie. is going on here? So for me to like take it and then oh shit. Why are there so many dead birds? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. I anyway. should have known. The amazing Spider Max. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw. Why would I throw it to the tree, the tree boy? I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. I wouldn't want to kill the dog if I the throw it. The dog is busy the now, but he throne. might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. I still don't think Frank is creepy. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You're so awkward. <laughs> you scope the area while I the archetypal filthy guy dishes. Sounds good, Chloe. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Well, I mean, it is the kitchen, so... Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. I accidentally nice clicked rig. the button. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. <sighs> Max, why do you have to be Crappy so, like... Here. It's taken days to download porn. Yuck. How can somebody live like this? Max is a little judgmental. I do have to say. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Is Frank going to deal online now? I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Why are we... Wait, why are we prying it open? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. 
Let's see, maybe there's something up Ooh, here. Frank's stash. Let's see. No more secrets. <gasps> Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? Stop. Oh, there's Presto, the gun. Chloe's gun. Should I give it back to her? We'll give it. Just because, one, she needs to return it, return it to David, and two, it's not even I have a Frank's terrible present for you. Place. An ounce of dank bud? Oh, you so rule, Max. Thank you. I feel so much better now. You better bring it back to David right away. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. She's not going to bring it back to David, but... I might regret this, but... I can't let Frank hurt someone. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Pompidou? Aww. <laughs> That's a poodle's name. That's cute. Can't he loves his dog. picture Frank and Chloe drinking beer and hanging out. Okay, was that... Was that all? I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You are dumb. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Oh. Okay. No prize here. Could we use the knife, maybe? Yeah, okay. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Is it, Max? <laughs> My blade will open any portal. Heck yeah! Let's see. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, I hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, Rachel Amber. So she was planning on leaving with Frank. I thought, I thought Chloe and her were looking to leave together. Maybe all three of them? I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I don't know if I... Like, were they in a relationship together? Because I don't I'm know if I believe that. About Rachel oh. I want to know. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank, that was not cool what you did, and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me, and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way, and the next time will be the last. I'm a Leo, and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our routine. Hmm. We don't want to close that back up? That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. You totally defended step stalker. Fuck everybody. Chloe! Well... No. Why would you throw the... <laughs> he needs those, doesn't he? Jeez, Chloe. You're gonna get into a fucking accident. Well, he doesn't suspect anything, even though his dog is outside. 
Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Uh. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe. He didn't choose to get into an accident. Choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Okay. No comment. <laughs> That's fine, I guess. I don't know. I know Max is upset, but honestly, I feel like we could do better without Chloe. I'm sure she'll come back, though. Now. What was that? That's cool. What? So, like, we can hear the memories and pictures? Use the A and D and lift mouse, right mouse, until you find the sweet spot. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh. My gosh. This is hard. Oh, there we go. Okay. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. Oh, her hair's in a ponytail. <laughs> I, hope the I thought she shaved her hair. You, this is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss, what Chloe. is this? But not the cook. William can't is can't here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. I'm 18 years I old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. Wow. That's crazy. We. Yeah. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Redneck chick? Okay. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. I know I've seen those pictures before. Oh. 
Right, like you're the real cook Yeah, here. they were in Chloe's box. I am, when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Hmm. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. <laughs> Wow, this place really changed. I know they never took that big vacation. Yeah, that's sad. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. The lighthouse. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Dad, thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. The sketch is for you to always remember. Love, Chloe. Aw. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you upon. You are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Whoa, it's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. Where's his keys? Where's his keys? Aha! Ah! Oh, wait. Can I not grab it? Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. <laughs> Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous- Okay, let's- let's back that up because that, <laughs> that was funny, but- Hello? Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two wheel swaffles on your own house. Your loving wife. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Am I really not able to just pick his head up? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Can I not grab his hat? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Okay. So now we know where his keys are, even though we already knew that beforehand. Let's go ahead and grab them. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Score! So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, <gasps> I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? <laughs> Not really. 
I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Super Max. I'm trying. I'm trying to stop him. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. <laughs> excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean <laughs> your college fund? Keys, please. Okay. Check Shit, under his where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. What? I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Okay, so he's got a thing. Back to when I hit the keys so I can. What do I do about his. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Does this not change? Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... So you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Hmm. I can't just, like, sneak his thing out of his pocket. Oh. Okay, let's see if that works. Oh, it must have if we're going into a cutscene. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. <laughs> oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. <laughs> I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome! So, how is this going to affect the present? Oh. Oh! Okay. Aww. 
<laughs> okay. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my the heck? Max. Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Okay. Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Okay, this is all strange. Is it a good thing though? Oh, wow. That's a huge whale. Oh, there's two of them. It's like the two whale diner. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No, I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Her dad's so nice. What? Wait. What? What? What the fuck happened to Chloe? What the heck happened to Chloe? <laughs> Oh my 
my god. Oh my god. I need a second to process that. Okay. Um, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about our choices that we made. So, 37 of us left the money while 63% stole the money. I'm, I'm really curious about how that went. 82% kissed Chloe. Heck yeah! And 18% did not kiss Chloe. 17% sided with David. Only 17! And 83% sided with Chloe. Y'all are loyal for that. That's good. 4% got Frank's dog heart. See, I knew choosing the road option was going to get that dog hit. And that makes me so upset to think about. 96% kept do Frank's dog from getting harmed. So 96% of y'all had the same thought as me. Chloe has David's gun, 71%. Well, only 29% kept the gun there. Alrighty. Okay. So episode four, the dark room. I will catch you guys next time. If you guys have... Oh, we only have the two more episodes. Okay. If you guys have any recommendations for other games that you want me to try out, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I would so greatly appreciate it if y'all would like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we are new here. We only have the three episodes so far on my channel. Three videos in total. Um, so, yeah, I would really like it if you guys could return to watch episode four. Alrighty, I'll catch y'all in the next episode.